This is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver! I assume you're William Beaver. You're either William Beaver or William Beaver's clone. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Right, I'll be over to just say hello in the love garden in just one second, but I'm not uh, only going to be joined by Billy Beaver today. I am also going to be joined again by Choo Choo. Good morning, Choo Choo. Right, sorry, you're going to have to have the, the whole big ordeal of uh, of trying to get through the doorway. I think he enjoys it now. <laughs> I think he enjoys the, the limbo game. It used to be annoying, but I think he's uh, decided uh, to have some fun with it. And I am going to have some fun with eating my cake. Well, actually, I've started not looking forward uh, to, to eating my cake as much as I used to because, um, yeah, I'm not very good at making cake, apparently. So <laughs> I'm sure one of these days I'm going to get this cake and it's going to be delicious. And hopefully that day is going to, to be today. So let's go and uh, try it out. Nom, 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 nom. Oh! Oh, it's hot! It's hot! It's spicy! It's a spicy cake! My mouth is on fire! How is it spicy? Oh, oh, milk! Thank you! Oh, ah, ah, that's a little bit better now! Whew. That was a spicy cake! I don't think I've ever had a spicy cake before! That's, uh, that's something new! And oh, I accidentally knocked the, uh, the CD out of the jukebox! <laughs> let's put it back in! Let's have some chirp played in the background, shall we? <laughs> right then, let's go now and uh, head over to the, the Love Garden uh, so I can announce uh, who it is uh, that I am adding to it today! And I'm not adding one person to it today! I'm not adding three people to it today! I'm adding two people to it today! <laughs> so I'm gonna go and uh, announce uh, who that is! And oh, looks like William Beaver's writing something down! We'll go and see uh, what that says uh, uh, in a minute. But first, uh, let's go and uh, and read the, the sign. So uh, today, I am adding Amy and Rianne. And uh, that is because uh, they sent me this picture of a whole load of things that they have or have made. So you can see uh, there's models of me and some of my friends. Uh, there's a little stampy cat bear down there. There's a Minecraft chest. You can see Choo Choo is there as well. And a book with all of our faces on. And I thought it was really creative and really cool that they did so many things. So I wanted to say uh, thank you very much, girls. And welcome. Welcome to my love garden. All right then, and let's go and say hello to, to William Beaver. Hello, good morning. <laughs> right, what does this say here? Thank you for letting me stay. Oh, that's okay. You are more than welcome to stay in the old smelly cave that I never go into. <laughs> and where's where's your clone? Has, has your clone left then? Is, is it just is it just you now? Okay, well I guess there's a another William Beaver somewhere roaming my lovely world. I don't know. Maybe one day uh, we're going to to run into him again. Uh, but for now. We're going to go and, oh, I'm crouching for some reason. Uh, there, there we go, I'm standing up. Right, so now uh, we're going to head to the, the Love Garden and we are going to finish off uh, building the, the fairy-like game uh, that we started building in the, the last episode. So uh, instead uh, of doing the long trek uh, all the way to my uh, my fun land, uh, what we can do is go straight through the, the teleporter. And oh no, oh no, I left the uh, I left the door open. Anyone could have got in. <laughs> uh, but luckily uh, it seems to, to be safe for now, seeing as no one really knows it's down here. Uh, right then, this is my you but there teleporter. I need to go in, press the button to save my fun land, uh, pull the, the lever, and here we go! Whoa, okay. I think I think we've uh, we've arrived now. I think we are Yep, we are in the the funland. I love that. That has just saved probably about 3 minutes of me <laughs> trying to to run the the whole way over here. I still have to walk a little bit uh, to the the game uh, because my funland's so big, but I think I'm probably going to be building in this area a lot soon. So I thought that was a a nice little area to to build the the teleporter in. And if the funland does start getting even bigger, I can add a, a few more teleporters around the the area. Area. Uh, so yeah, I can go and just whiz around uh, to wherever it is that I want uh, to go. Uh, but where I want to go today uh, is right about here. So uh, let's go and eat one of these carrots, shall we? Uh, yeah, so in the, the last episode, uh, we started building a, a game uh, where you need to try and guide an experience orb uh, through a maze. And it starts off uh, with you going around the, the outside, trying to guide it through the, the walls. Uh, but we uh, we did that in the last episode. Uh, but now we need to do the bit uh, where you're going to be looking through the, the floor. And as you can tell... 
Things have a, a little bit more motion now. I've uh, added in the, the redstone, uh, just so uh, you didn't have to, to watch it in the, the video. So now, you can see you need to guide it across here, uh, but if it does fall down, you can use this block uh, to push it back up to the, the top. And then over here, that dispenser fires out water, uh, which uh, you're going to have to try and push the, the ore past. And on the, the other side over here, it's the uh, the exact same uh, thing. You're going to see these trapdoors in three two, one, and there they go, flapping away. So these are pretty much uh, identical. So uh, let me just show you uh, how it all works in case you're interested. Beware, redstone below. <laughs> right then, so it all works uh, with this one little minecart, uh, which is whizzing around this track. And oh, hello, William Beaver. <laughs> uh, yeah, it all whizzes around the track. And you can see that this detector rail uh, sends a, um, a signal to here. And this is what moves the uh, the piston up and down, uh, which is the, the block. And then here, are all the, the trap doors. So you can kind of see what happens here. Uh, basically, these repeaters uh, are gradually uh, more and more pulled back. You can see that one's pulled back one, and then two, and then three, and then this one four, including these ones down here. Uh, so that's the way they kind of uh, go across gradually rather than all dropping at the, the same time. Uh, and then there's another trail of redstone coming down here. Uh, this leads to the uh, the dispenser, uh, which is above me there, uh, which is firing out the, the water. You can hear it going now. And then on the, the other side over here, oh no! Oh no! Oh no, William Beaver, when you ride in the minecart, it makes it all go quickly. Oh, hopefully that hasn't ruined anything. <laughs> I think that's just a way to make it a lot harder because everything's just going really fast now. You can see it's all going a little bit crazy. <laughs> right, so yeah, you can see on this side, uh, it's basically uh, the, the exact same thing. So uh, you don't need to, to do it this way. I mean, this just seemed to be quite a, a nice, easy way to, to do it. But that doesn't matter. Uh, we don't need to go down here. Uh, lucky for you, Choo Choo, because otherwise you would have a, a very painful neck afterwards. Uh, we need to go up up here and uh, carry on building the uh, the top. So the way it's going to, to work is I've actually added some ladders in here to climb up uh, because when there was the steps uh, you could sometimes pick up the, the orb through the glass. Uh, so you go up here and you're then going to go and be guiding the um, uh, the orb as you look down through glass which is going to be on this level here. So uh, let's jump down and uh, go and carry on building the, the rest of this. So I guess if I build this side uh, and then Choo Choo and uh, William Beaver, if you basically copy me, uh, the other side needs to be exactly the same. Well uh, an exact mirror image uh, of what I'm doing uh, on this side. So uh, for starters, uh, let's just go and build a, uh, a wall across to the, the end here, because this is going to be blocking one side to the, the other. And then uh, there's not really many obstacles here. The main thing is a uh, very thin bridges. Basically, there's going to be bridges uh, which are going to be made out of uh, colored uh, glass panes, stained glass panes, uh, which are going to be uh, very difficult uh, to try and guide the, the orb across. So uh, let's go and uh, build out here. And this is where you're going to, to be needing to, to guide it. And uh, all of this area here is going to, to be built up uh, to kind of basically, uh, basically to mark like a, a wall uh, showing uh, where you uh, can't go. So let's go and uh, build uh, all of this uh, up here like this uh, and uh, across to, to there. So this is where you're going to be guiding it. And then here is where the, um, the, the bridges are going to be. So of course, if I did a bridge now and it fell down, uh, it wouldn't uh, fall down far enough. Well, it would fall down, but it would get stuck under the, the bridges. So what I actually need to do uh, is break away the uh, the floor here and uh, make this all slightly lower. So that's also uh, why I couldn't have any uh, redstone in the in the middle of the, the room uh, because otherwise it would be getting in the, the way. So let me just go and uh, grab some dirt for now. And if I place that down a little bit, uh, I can then go and uh, place the uh, the green wall on the, the top of it. So this is basically, oh no, that's the wrong place. It needs to be one block lower. <laughs> I put it in the exact same place as it would have been before. So yeah, the green wall uh, needs to, to be here. And uh, we need to fill in this uh, entire area, make sure not to uh, destroy any of the, the redstone here. And actually, you're not going to be able to see the redstone. Actually, no, it's okay, because at the, the very end here, uh, there's going to be another platform, because uh, this is, of course, where you're trying to, to get to. So yeah, uh, you're not going to be able to see any of the, the redstone. So let's uh, uh, jump down here for now and go and fill all of this up. And then another thing we're going to need to do is to, to add some, some pistons. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to add some pistons uh, down here on this side as well. And uh, that is because uh, if the uh, the orb falls down, uh, there needs to be a way to, to get it back up. Otherwise, you would just have to go all the way back to the beginning, and that wouldn't be much fun. So it's kind of a, a little bit like a, a checkpoint, uh, like we had earlier uh, with the, the trap door. So uh, I won't worry about that for now. I think I'll do that at the, the very end as the, the last thing. But don't worry, uh, there's not really much redstone, because uh, it just links up to the uh, the same track as where the, the mine car is. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to go and try and make myself some glass pane. So I'm going to uh, make a 
a crafting table and I'm going to plonk it right about uh, let's do it up here uh, so it's out the the way and uh, yeah now I need to go and change my glass uh, to make it into some of the uh, the pane so let's go uh, along to, to here and see if I can find it there we go and uh, I need uh, let's do let's do 32 this should be enough so the first one is going to go uh, along like oh no this needs to be higher actually doesn't it let's break that away sorry oh, I hate breaking glass uh, let's go and put it there so yeah, this bridge is going to be going across to this side like this. And then you're going to go to here and you're then going to need to go and make your way uh, back across to the, the other side. Because this section here uh, is going to be blocked off. So you need to guide it along to, to here. And I'll put a block there as well. And then you're going to need to go and guide it back. And the bridges can't be right next to each other. Because if I put one there, you can see it all kind of fills in and it goes a little bit weird. So I kind of want it just one very thin bridge. So that's why uh, we have the, the big gap in the, the middle. Uh, so then if I do uh, another block there, so you'll then need to go across this way, and then this way is going to go and lead off to the, the rest of the, the maze. So you're then going to go uh, around here like this, and then there's going to be another corner, and this is basically just the, the final stretch. So I'm probably uh, not going to add any more obstacles here. Uh, this is going to be like the, the final stretch uh, towards the, the end of the race. So it's going to go along to here, and then all the way down there, and then that is where the, the light's going to be uh, that you need to, to light up with the, the orb. So uh, let's just go and uh, build up these uh, walls a little bit as well, shall we? So let's go and uh, fill this in here and do this one higher as you can kind of get an idea of the, the route it needs to, to go. So you're going to be looking down through the glass. You got it this way. Way, and then you guide it that way and then round the corner and then uh, there to the the very end so I can build up uh, the the walls on this side as well uh, just like I did on the 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 other side and then uh, the game's not uh, too far off being done I really just need to, to add all of the the glass on the the top of the game uh, as well as, uh, as the uh, the piston, uh, which is going to, to lift the uh, uh, the the orb back up. So I guess uh, now I can go and add the uh, the piston in. So it's actually two pistons we need to add in uh, because uh, it needs to go two blocks up. So there's going to be one uh, piston to push it up to here, and then one to push it up onto the the other block. So I have uh, quite a few pistons here. Uh, so if I put one uh, needs to go right uh, here. If I go and place it on a, a block like that, and then this is going to have a block on top of it. So this one's going to get pushed up to here, and then we need another one here, which is going to push it up to that block. So this one needs to be down on the, the floor, and I guess I should just go and uh, jump down uh, so I can go and add the, the redstone. So it's going to be so easy. All I need to do is add uh, another trail of redstone coming from here. So uh, I got some redstone on me and uh, a few repeaters. Uh, so this one uh, can pretty much go uh, straight into the, uh, the piston. So if I go like this and this and this and this, uh, you'll see that that piston is going to start going up and down. So that one's done. Uh, but the other one, uh, we need to give a slight delay. Uh, because if both pistons uh, go up at the, the same time, uh, then that means uh, you won't be able to get the, the orb uh, from one to the uh, to the other. So uh, let's just go and do a, a little trail uh, going off here. And uh, let's just pull it back uh, a little bit uh uh, a little bit here uh, so then that way it's just going to be slightly uh, delayed uh, and then that way uh, you should be able to to get up the the orb nicely so let's just do it to there as i told you it's probably the the easiest redstone in the the world and uh, now i just need to go and uh, pile up and i can go and see if it's uh, if it's working or not so and there we go this works perfectly so you can see uh, it will lift me up to one block uh, let me see if it does it now. Let, yeah, it lifts me up to here. And then the next one uh, will lift me up to the, the very top. But of course, it won't be lifting me up. Uh, it's going to be lifting up the uh, the little experience orb, isn't it? All uh, right, then. So what we need to do now uh, is to go and add in some of the uh, the glass, uh, which is going to be covering uh, the entire game from the, the top. Because I think it's pretty much ready. Oh, no, actually, no. There is one more thing uh, that I need uh, to add in first. And that is, of course, the the light at the, the very end of the, the game. Let's go and uh, make some uh, wooden pressure plates. And so basically, the very end of the, the game and the, the main objective of the game uh, is to light up the, the light which is going to be down at the, the very end here. So if I place that there and then put this on top, uh, so then that way when the orb hits the, the pressure plate, uh, you'll see that the light is going to, to light up uh, just like that. Uh, but seeing as it's uh, become night time, uh, I think it's probably uh, going to be a, a good idea uh, for us uh, all to, to go to bed because uh, whenever I've done a, a lot of building, uh, the worst thing you want to happen is for it to all get blown up by a, a creeper or something. So if everyone makes their, their way to the, the bed, uh, they're uh, just uh, over here by the, the water, uh, we can go to sleep. And then in the, the morning, uh, we can try and get the, the game finished off. And hopefully, if we have time, uh, have a, a little bit of a, of a, a test to go. Uh, William Beaver, uh, do you want to, to come out now and try and go to the bed? Is he, is he still down here doing the, the redstone? William, there he is. <laughs> right, you can uh, go to, to bed as well. And then in the, uh, the morning... 
uh, yeah, we can go and uh, get the, the game finished off and uh, have ourselves uh, a bit of a, a test to go. I've uh, uh, been gathering up a, a lot more coal ore as well, uh, so then that way we shouldn't run out. And oh, actually, I've also changed the uh, the way it starts as well. I think I've had a, uh, an idea for a better way uh, to, for us to, to, to destroy the coal as well. So uh, yeah, when we have the, the test to go, I will show you that as well. But uh, before we do that, uh, let's go and uh, cover up uh, all of this area with this glass. So I need to make sure I get this on the, the right level. So it should be uh, this level here because uh, then that way there's room for the, the orb and uh, because you're quite close to it uh, you're actually going to be able to, to move it quite fast. The orb uh, pretty much moves uh, the exact same speed uh, that you move as well. So you can uh, if you're very good uh, try and get through this section quickly but if the orb falls down into that pit uh, that is going to slow you down a lot. So I guess you need to choose. Do you want to try and be quick or do you want to be careful? I guess the best would be to be quick and careful but <laughs> that's uh, uh, often uh, easier said than done so uh, let's just go and finish in the, uh, this side here and then I'm going to go and uh, check and uh, see how well things are doing over on the the yellow side and oh I realized something annoying as well and I don't know how I didn't realize this before, uh, but I built this yellow side right next to the uh, the uh, alien trees over here, uh, which are pretty much the exact same yellow wall and a yellow glass pane. And I really don't like the look of this. So I think I might uh, change the uh, the leaves because uh, I think that's the easier thing to do and uh, make them a, a different color. Because there's a lot of yellow. Because there's yellow there and then there's uh, the lime green, then yellow here and then yellow there as well. So I think I might change those trees to a, a different color uh, because I really want this to be a uh, lime green and yellow uh, because they're the uh, the colors that the the actual experience orbs are and so the uh, the entire game is of course supposed to be uh, in the the shape of one of those uh, experience orbs so uh, let's just go now and uh, carry on uh, filling all of uh, this in and then we can hopefully go and get the the other side done as well and uh, have ourselves a, a little bit of a, a game and sorry I know I'm doing this really really slowly but <laughs> I'm always bad at building when I'm speaking right here we go I do believe this side is done and oh it looks like uh, that this side is uh, almost done as well it looks like there's a little bit of the the redstone missing maybe and oh we also uh, of course need uh, to add the the light there's no point having the uh, the entire game if you can't win uh, at the the end anyway so I'm just gonna hop downstairs and uh, see how well things are going with the uh, the redstone and uh, if they're all ready uh, we should be able to to have a game so I can see that William Beaver uh, is kind of uh, copying uh, what I'm doing at all I realize I've kind of put my redstone a little bit in the the way of yours uh, it's all right uh, I, I can uh, take over from here if you want and uh, try and work it out it shouldn't uh, make too much of a, a difference and oh <laughs> thank you I think you're happy aren't you William Beaver uh, isn't the um he isn't the most enthusiastic builder he much uh, prefers playing games and battling googlies and uh, it's quite a it's quite a tight area here actually in order uh, to be able to to try and fit it in but uh, I'm sure I'll be able to if I place this this way instead and then if I do uh if I do repeaters along here I might actually just make the the redstone uh, come from somewhere else oh I know what I could do I know what the easiest thing to do is is just do that there we go I can just use the the redstone from the the other side and it shouldn't make a uh, too much difference let's just see uh, yeah there we go I think this is going to work absolutely fine <laughs> that was very very easy all right then uh, let's go and uh, have ourselves uh, a test game then shall we uh, let's go up to the uh, the very top and tell you what William Beaver as uh, seen as uh, you had to do the the redstone I'll let you have the uh, the first test game uh, against me so uh, as you built the the yellow side uh, you can be on that side and I be built the, the lime green one, I'll be on this side. So uh, here's a, a bunch of coal ore. I'm going to place it right about there and there. And I'm going to give you some spare as well, uh, just in case you don't get experience the uh, the first time. And uh, choo choo, uh, you can just cheer on whoever you uh, you want to win. It's kind of hard to know who you're rooting for because you're wearing yellow clothes, uh, but your skin is green. So <laughs> it's harder to know who you want to win. And you can cheer from the, the little pole there. All right then, uh, let's give it a go then. So don't start immediately. Uh, let's wait uh, wait sure uh, wait to make sure we both have experience yeah there we go you see I didn't actually get uh, any experience from the the first one uh, so if we just break uh, a few and until we get some and there we go I got I got my little uh, my little fairy down there my little experience fairy and look Billy's got his as well right so we can begin in a three a two one go 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 right so I need to try and guide it and uh, I first need to go and uh, try and get it through all of these doors uh, which actually can be harder than it looks uh, sometimes it can get stuck on the uh, the doors and uh, won't get through but I seem uh, to be getting quite lucky so far there we go I've got it through the the next one if I kind of stand over here to the side hopefully I 
I can move it across. And uh, now I need to get it through that door. There we go. It's opened up. And now if I go really fast, I think this is a, a good opening to try and get it across. But I need to do it before they drop down. Or it's just going to slow me down. And there we go. Whoa. That was very close. That couldn't <laughs> have been much closer. I was just about able to, to get it over the, the trap doors. Uh, but now there's the water. So as the water comes, and here it comes, it's going to slow down the, the orb. It's actually got it stuck there. So as soon as the, the water goes, I want to be as quick as I can uh, to try and get it past and to see if I can get it all the way to the other side uh, before the water comes again. Come on, quickly. Come on, hurry up, fairy. There we go. That was some good speed there. But oh no, the water came. Okay, it's good. I can still just about get past it. And there we go. I've got it down to this area. So now if I climb up, and go to here, uh, it should come through, right? Where's it? Where's my experience orb gone? Um, have I lost it? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's under the, the pressure plate. Here it comes. <laughs> right. So now is the uh, the bit that we built today. I need to go and try and get it over the, the bridges and all. I can't see uh, I can't see Billy Beaver uh, up in this area. So I think I, I have a, a good lead. Uh, but now I want to be very careful. I really uh, do not want to, to fall down here. And as you can see, the uh, the ferry is just about the uh, the same size as the, the bridge. So you've got to be very careful here. But there we go. I was able to do that pretty successfully. Uh, and now I need to go and stand here. If I go this way, I can make it move a little bit quicker. Basically, the further ahead you go, the quicker it moves. So let's go and try and be a little bit quicker on this one. There we go. It seems uh, to move in a, a pretty straight line, actually. You have a, a quite a lot of uh, good control over it. And uh, now all I need to do is the uh, the final stretch. I need to get it around the, the corner and onto the, the pressure plate. And then I can light up the, the fairy light. And oh, still no sign of Billy Beaver. I believe I got a, a very good lead here. I think he's probably uh, got stuck on the, the trap doors or maybe the, the water. Uh, we'll go and see uh, once I get it in. Yep, still no Billy Beaver. I should be uh, pretty safe now uh, to get it across to the, the end. And I might uh, add another obstacle here. Uh, maybe I could do some more pistons blocking the, the path maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I do kind of like it uh, as the uh, the big final stretch though. Just a, a big straight line towards the end. And now I just got the, the final corner. And then if I stand over here, hopefully it's going to go and light up the light and... Oh, it's not done it yet. If I stand a little bit further this way, there we go. <laughs> I've done it. I have lit up the, the fairy light and I have won. So uh, that doesn't really matter uh, because it's only a little bit of a, a test game. But there we go. That at least proves that the game does work. And uh, where where is where is William? Where Where's William got to? Oh, hello, William Beaver. <laughs> Did you have a little bit of a trouble with the, the trap doors? <laughs> That's what I, what I imagine. But don't worry. It doesn't matter. This was only a practice. In the next episode, uh, we're going to have a fairy light tournament and that is where it really counts so that is where you want to try and uh, bring your a game and uh, and choo choo uh, choo choo you can uh, you can join in and uh, you can go and uh, play in the, the tournament as well and oh i got a cake a victory cake sadly my belly is full so i can't eat it <laughs> but maybe we could save that as a, a prize for the uh, the tournament uh, but sadly uh, we have just about uh, run out of time in this episode here so i want to say a huge thank you uh, to william beaver and choo choo uh, for helping me out and uh, finishing off the the game and uh, yeah a big thank you to you for watching and i'll see See you in the next episode. Bye!